Hi, I'm Steve. I work on the alerting product at Datadog, and I want to show you a couple things that we're working on to help manage alerts at scale. The first is a new alert management UI that we're putting into the product, and the second is a new type of alert called composite alerts, and I'll get into how each of these things work. So starting with alert management. This has been a pretty good case study in how we do betas at Datadog, and Alexi touched on this a little bit in his talk. Um, we've spent the last couple of months talking to some of our large alert users. Actually, um, a lot of you are in the room right now, so thank you very much for your feedback over the last few months. Maybe it's because we're the team that wakes people up at night, but people have been very uh, enthusiastic and quick in their feedback about how we can improve the alerting product. And some of the things we gathered um, from these interviews over the last couple of months is some of the common trends uh, that our customers have. So, our large users have anywhere from hundreds to tens of thousands of monitors in their environments. They have uh, tens to thousands, in some cases, of users that are sharing Datadog. And those can be across both multiple teams and multiple environments. So as our customers grow and as our alerting product go grows, we need to scale up. So the goals for this project at the outset were to really improve the experience for this set of users. And, and first and foremost, you know, speed being a feature we have seen page load times drop from sometimes several seconds to under 250 milliseconds on the new page. So we're really excited about the speed improvements. And along with the, uh, the new faceted search that we're rolling out, we have a lot of increased visibility into, uh, into um, coverage across multiple teams and environments. We're also introducing multi-edit to make things easier uh, to, to tag and to make modifications across all these different monitors. And all this, at the end of the day, is about giving you more complete coverage and better visibility, because that's what an alerting product is all about. So since you're all, since many of you are customers, you kind of know how this works today. But I wanted to highlight a few of the things about the current page. So if I run a search for something like Kafka, uh, in this particular case, the result, uh, it returns about 50 results. And this is because that search is running across all fields that Datadog stores. This can sometimes lead to some noise and undesirable results returned from the search. So, with the new managed page, we're introdu introducing proper faceted search. And so these queries are more precise. The same query for something like Kafka is just going to be searching across names and descriptions, but we're now rolling out facets for things like status, the type of monitor, the service tag, the scope, the metric, um, and the user that created the monitor, and the notification. So you can search across all those things. You can introduce advanced queries into these searches. And all of this is URL addressable. And while I'm here, I want to talk in particular about one facet, which is service tags. Um, this is something that relates to our APM product. One of the things that we're trying to do with the APM product is carry over service tags that are defined as part of APM so that you can easily identify monitors associated with those services. But uh, this has actually been something that's been available for monitors for a while now in the product. But um, I wanted to put a special highlight on it, especially because with multi-edit, it's now easy to tag all of your monitors with service names in Datadog. And it's something that we think will help you organize these long lists across all your different teams and services. And the private beta is starting today. As I say, we've been collecting feedback from about a dozen users over the last few months. But I would love to get more of you involved. I was looking through the list of our large users uh, over the last few days. And I, and I know uh, there are about 10 of you in the room. So if you don't find me, I'll find you. And I would love to start gathering more feedback about how we can improve this. The second thing I want to talk about is composite monitors. So this is also something that's kind of been in the product for a while um, as an API only feature. But we're now rolling out a UI for it. And uh, in short, composite monitors let you take your existing monitors and combine them with new notification rules to hopefully reduce alert floods and give you more meaningful uh, and useful notifications. And I think the best way to talk about them is to just show a couple of use cases. So, Let's say I have two monitors, monitor A, monitor B. They target the same host. Uh, one is a monitor on CPU utilization, and one is a monitor on latency. CPU, of course, by itself is not a problem. In fact, uh, high CPU is generally a good thing. You want your resources to be, to be fully utilized. Um, but if a machine is spiked in its resources and then is slowing down and responding to queries more slowly, uh, that can be a problem. So uh, in our current monitoring system, if these go down, they both start alerting separately, classic uh, alert flood case. But with composite monitors, I can combine these two uh, and say, with a rule like A and B, uh, I can now collapse that into one notification. So if one or both of these metrics goes down, I can get one notification instead of two or, or however many. Um, these rules are completely customizable. So I can, uh, I can eliminate notifications altogether if I want only a notification if both of these metrics are spiked. So hopefully, we can reduce noise as well. 
And I have complete control over the rules. So I can, uh, with a command almost exactly like this, I can say A and B or A or B. I can combine and, and kind of um, and string these rules together however I want. A second use case is something like a microservice environment. So let's say I have this string of dependent services during my e-commerce uh, checkout process. And one of those services goes down. Again, in the current system, each of those services being dependent on one another, they're all going to go down. And I'm going to start getting alerts for all three. That sucks. So with composite monitors, again, I can kind of string those together via custom rules and get one notification instead of however many. Um, this is what it looks like. So I go to create a new composite monitor. I choose my first existing monitor. And Datadog is going to give me a little bit of information about how that monitor is uh, responding right now. As I add more monitors, and I can add up to 10 of these, um, Datadog is going to start looking at how they overlap. So in this case, they have some common hosts. And then as I define the rules for the composite, like alert when A and B are both firing, um, Datadog in real time, as I'm creating that monitor in the UI, is going to tell me what this monitor would respond like. And again, the end result of this, hopefully, is that you can better manage your alert floods and get fewer notifications. Um, this also is available today. And you can reach out to support or me directly, and we'll start taking your names and getting you involved in the beta. That is all I have. Any questions?